Hi Capricorn, welcome to Buddy Tarot. This reading is going to be an overview of your energy for the month of June 2023, where I'll be taking a look at your overall energies, uh, the challenges you dealt with, what you have achieved for the month, and what you need to continue working on for the remaining days of the month and into the next month, that is July. So Capricorn, let's get started and see what energies we have for you. I hope you're doing well, Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, your overall energy for the month is the Three of Swords. So there's been some pain that you've been carrying around with you. The Three of Swords is a difficult energy. Um, it's heartache. Um, your challenge has been the judgment. So um, we'll be clarifying all the cards. We'll just go through what cards are here on the table first. So the, the energy that challenged you is the judgment. So this is renewing something. You know, something, something might have come back from the past. Uh, and uh, this has been challenging for you, Capricorn, for whatever reason. If it's not that, then it's been challenging for you to revive something or bring back something to life from the past. Either something from the back came back to life, either something from the past came back to life and has challenged your energy or it's been challenging for you to bring something back to life. We clarify later on. What you have achieved for the month is the Queen of Pentacles. So that's you uh, working on your healing uh, with the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of uh, Pentacles works with her body. She meditates exercises or does activities that are good for her overall physical well-being and mental and spiritual well-being the queen of pentacles is known as a healer so maybe you've been working on your healing this month or healing a connection or something i'm sorry about that car reverse sound cannot be helped uh but Getting back to your reading, Capricorn, um, this is your energy, Earth. So you've been working on your healing and um, just focusing on your overall well-being or uh, focusing on improving a certain connection. Now, what you need to continue working on is the Three of Pentacles. So there's some kind of collaboration or um, somebody or some project that you've been working with. And at this time, the universe has, is telling you to continue working on that. With the three of pentacles uh, if it's something if it's a certain aspect that you're working on yourself which could be the healing aspect uh you know the universe wants you to continue doing that did you hear that sound it's just constant i uh, uh capricorn I, I still don't know how to edit videos so I'm going to learn that, I promise. I'm, I'm going to figure out all that. I'm just going to continue. So um, let's clarify why we have the Three of Swords. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, universe. Let's clarify why we have the Three of Swords as your overall energy. Why the Three of Swords as your overall energy? For Capricorn, why the Three of Swords? Why the Three of Swords for Capricorn's overall energy? So for the Three of Swords, we, had, we get the Hierophant. The Ten of Cups and the Four of Swords. So Capricorn, it looks like there's been a break 
or uh, there's, there's, there's a halt of some kind, there's a pause for the Four of Swords. Uh, this, is, this is from an important, this is a higher level commitment. This could be a high stake job or project that you're involved in or a relationship that means a lot to you. With the Ten of Cups, there is emotional fulfillment and uh, complete emotional satisfaction that this connection made you feel at a certain point. You know, we have the Ten of Cups. This was your end all be all kind of, you know, it has that feeling with the Hierophant and the Ten of Cups. It's like, this is it. This is the best thing that could ever happen to me. But for now, there's a break. And you see the sequence, your overall energy has been the Three of Swords. And moving on, we have the Four of Swords. So something has happened in this connection where you're having to take a break and meditate upon what has occurred meditate upon the fact that how important this connection is to you and how much happiness it brings to you and what has gone wrong and why you're feeling this pain there could be um with the three of swords there could just be just other people or energies that's interfering or circumstances that are not favorable but there's some pain that needs to be addressed which you are addressing capricorn with the four of swords so that's been in your overall energy the challenge that you dealt with for this month is the judgment so what is this why is the judgment energy challenging capricorn for the month of june why is this energy challenging capricorn for the month of june Oh, whoa, whoa. too many, too many, too many. I'm sorry, Capricorn. We just do one more shuffle and get three cards. Why is the judgment challenging Capricorn for the month of June 2023? So the Eight of Wands fell out, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. All right. So uh, I think Capricorn, a past situation might have come back with the Ten of Pentacles. And you have the Hierophant in your overall energy. You have the Ten of Cups. So you're dealing with a cycle. You have been in a cycle for quite some time. And this cycle is start, this, these energies are starting to challenge. These energies have been challenging for you. And it seems like, you know, with the Ace of Wands, it looks like there has been an energy of a new beginning, something being renewed and revived with the judgment and the Ace of Wands. This is something coming back to life, coming back from the dead. This was a long-term situation and this has happened suddenly with the eight of wands it's come about suddenly so when we join the eight and the nine eight and the one it becomes a nine so this has caused you to feel tired and it has challenged you it's been draining your energy capricorn the fact that this the cycle which you are almost done with is coming back as a new energy to be revived has been challenging you it could be a certain person from the past or a certain commitment that you were in, which was very serious, because that's there in your overall energy as the Hierophant. And with the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, this is all like big, long, long time, long term investments and stuff that has been going on for a long time. And with the Ace of Wands, it seems like there's a beginning and somehow, you know, this beginning this energy of a new beginning or renewing something has been challenging you capricorn i don't know if it's renewing something with this uh with the same person or the same cycle or yourself even but it's been difficult to just start afresh or feel fresh yeah 
Now, what you have achieved this month is the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, this could be another energy you're dealing with, but I think it's this is you, uh, Capricorn, working on your healing, especially because it's an earth sign. So I think this is you. You've been focusing on your, not just your finances, but also your uh, what your body wants, listening to your body, following the signals that your body gives you. So we'll get three cards for clarifying. The, we'll get three cards to clarify the Queen of Pentacles. So for the Queen of Pentacles, you get the Temperance, of course. I think this is to do with your healing. The Seven of Cups and the Hangman. But he's upright. Oh no, he's, he's, he's reverse. I mean, he came out in the reverse. The deck is upright. The Hangman came out in the reverse. All right, uh, Capricorn, just give me a few seconds. With the Temperance and the Queen of Pentacles, you've definitely been working on your healing. And with the Seven of Cups and the Hangman in reverse, like it's like you're finally coming out of a state of confusion. You have suspended yourself in a state of confusion for a very long time, uh, maybe wondering about what someone told you, what someone showed you, the illusions that someone put or how you how you were in might have been engaged in self illusion or you might have you know imagined something to be a certain way but but it wasn't really because the seven of cups is often illusions and you're finally moving out of this state of confusion with a clear idea about what you want to do because when the hangman comes out in reverse the dude is ready for action so uh, capricorn it looks like you've done your healing and because you're listening to your body and you're working with your body and focusing on your own well-being at this time, you have been able to get yourself out of a state of confusion and see something clearly. So now, And now you can take action with the hangman in reverse. And with the temperance, this was not easy. This took time. Why does the temperance signify healing? Because it represents time. And nothing can heal unless you give it time. Just as a cut wouldn't heal. If you kept poking at it, the scab wouldn't form. So uh, you had to give something time. And now you have achieved a sense of clarity in this month, which is helping you take action and no longer be in a position of suspension like the hangman. Now what you need to continue working on is the three of pentacles so that's collaborating let's see what this is about whether it's love or work or yourself we get three cards one more shuffle whoops the three of cups fell on my lap i'm going to keep that We get two more cards, High Priestess, and one more. So for the Three of Pentacles, you get the Three of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Nine of Swords. So, you know, uh, Capricorn, you're collaborating with somebody with the Three of Cups. This could be love, it could be friendship. It could be more than work. It appears like it's work, but it could be more with the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. It's work and fun. It could be party, fun times together, abundant times, getting together. If it's a connection, it's working really well. You and this person seem to be getting along really well, and your intuition is guiding you through this. But for some reason, you're worried with the Three of uh, with the with the. Uh, nine of swords the universe will never ever tell you to continue doing that so this has shown up because i think you're doing this capricorn the universe will never want us to worry about what is to come and what has occurred because that is just not the way nature 
is, you know, a, a very big part of being Zen and being with the universe is moving along and just being present, not having a sticky mind. So I don't think this is an advice from the universe or this is something that you need to... Maybe you have been working on your anxiety. Yes, Capricorn. Maybe you've been working on your anxiety and with the Three of Pentacles, maybe you have been talking to a therapist or a counselor or somebody who you feel like you can trust and share your feelings with. With the Three of Cups, it could be your friend, whoever it is. You've been working with your intuition and you have been working on some anxiety that you have been suffering from, from and the universe wants you to continue working on that. So that's a great message that came out. I'm so happy for you, Capricorn. You're doing well. For this to show up, that means you have actually faced some kind of difficult circumstances which cause you to feel very stressed, but you're working on that. And your intuition is supporting you through. And the universe wants you to know that you need to continue doing whatever it is that you're doing. Now, we'll end the reading with three cards as guidance from the universe. Let's quickly get three cards. What is the guidance for Capricorn? from the universe at this time what is the guidance for Capricorn from the universe at this time so a lot of cards came out we have the tower in reverse the tower fell out the three of wands the Two of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. So you have it all with you, uh, Capricorn. You have the Three of Wands, which is expanding. The Nine of Pentacles, you have it with, you're the full package by yourself. You're emotionally, physically, mentally, financially independent. Um, there are some blockages and something that you're holding on to the past with the Tower. There's an ending and you need to let go of it. If it has been painful, even more so, you should let go of it. And once you let go of it, you know, you will have clarity in your mind. There will not be any more back and forth. And you will just feel more comfortable, free and better than you've ever felt before for the Nine of Pentacles. All right, Capricorn, if you're still watching, thank you for your patience. Uh, I hope this helped. And thank you for watching, sharing, liking and subscribing. I am truly grateful for your kindness. Uh, please take care. And I will catch you guys soon. Later. Bye.